Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about setting settings back to their default value. So often you will find there will be various values you may have edited and you might want to get them back to their default values which is typically zero but not always. So let's look at this part here. You can see we've got a transpose set to 11. Now you can reset it a number of ways. Obviously you can double click it and type zero. You can drag it up and down to change that value up to whatever the maximum and minimum is. A quick way to reset it back to its default value is to hold down the command key on Mac or the control key on Windows and click it and we're back to zero. So that will set that back to the default value. That's pretty useful. It can be used for MIDI events as well. So if we open up this part here, we can see we've got a couple of notes. That one's got a velocity of 127. The default for velocity is 64. So again, I'm going to hold down command, click it. We're back to a more sane value than the 127 hammering along. In terms of controllers, typically, it will be zero. So this one, 118, back to zero pretty easily like that. Another area it can be used is in the inspector. Now, this is probably the thing I use the most because I often find getting this back to center, it's, sometimes it's just a bit tricky. It's not too bad. I generally find actually on the Mac, the trackpad's pretty good, but my mouse, maybe, or maybe I need a new mouse. Maybe that's what actually what this video is about. But again, getting this back to center, command or control and click and we're done which is nice one thing to note about this as well it can be quite useful if you want to reset parts where you've got different values set so for instance here we've got this one has got a transpose of four and this one has got a transpose of six when we highlight these two if you were to double click it and enter uh, value it will keep the difference between the two so what will happen is this one will be zero and this one will be two if you want to reset those the command or control click trick works. So that is now set. So both of those are now at zero. So if you've got lots of parts you want to reset, how I mean, you could reset the entire thing in one go. You could just select all, command click, and all of your transposers are reset. Whether that's a desirable thing is for you to find out. But anyway, that's the quick tip for today. So I hope you found that useful, and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.